Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video. We're going to talk a little bit more about Anchor. If you saw my previous video earlier on this afternoon, I did talk about Anchor and I said I hadn't done extensive research into Anchor. Uh, so I'm going to give you an update on some of the findings that I've found. With that, we're also going to talk about Tezos because I did say that I was going to cover that in the last video and actually forgot by the time we got to the end of the video. And also before we actually move on, there is actually a competition with Research Finance RSG and there is basically a, yeah, there's a Twitter competition where you can actually win 5,000 RSG. Uh, for the number one winner and the two runners up can win a thousand RSG all you have to do is go over to the Twitter follow and retweet um, the previous uh, Twitter tweet uh, from RSG finance and um, yeah you get a chance to win um, 5,000 1,000 to 5,000 RSG um, you have to literally go in the telegram post a snapshot of your retweet and the most creative uh, on that actually gets uh, a chance at winning the prize. Um, if you don't know what research finance is, it's actually one of my projects that I created and you can go over to the website and check that out. If you join us in the Telegram, all the details will be there. Also, let's not forget Bubble Network. That is one of my other tokens. The BBL token also available to buy on Uniswap. Both of these are. Uh, go and check them out, guys. Very cheap, very low market cap and definitely uh, got some price uh, high price potential if we can get this market moving okay so going back to anchor anchor is definitely one that um i'm actually beginning to like more the more that i look into it if you go to the website and uh, check it out i'm not going to do it right here but if you check out the website you find that they've actually got staking solutions for ethereum 2 uh, you know, it's it's all it's always good if you are an Ethereum holder. Definitely something you should look into uh, into using because you can actually earn on your Ethereum. If you're just holding your Ethereum and you're not staking it, you're not really um, earning passive income. You can only have the same have the same amount of Ethereum that you started with. Okay, and obviously, right now. Things like this offering a staking solution. Um, obviously, it's web free, and you know there's, it's onwards and upwards for this. I talked, I talked about the fact in a previous video. I talked about the fact in the previous video that uh, the CTO was one of the developers for Amazon uh, at some point in his career, and as you can see. Uh, it looks like they've got um, staking nodes and, uh, you know, APIs, enterprise solutions, all that sort of stuff. All right, guys, so make sure you check out the website. Um, let's talk about the chart just real quickly before we move on to Tezos. And also one more thing uh, that I found. In fact, let's just go back to that. Um, basically, they've been listed on Coinbase Custody. OK, so obviously, you know what comes next. OK, this is only January the 21st, by the way. And yes, the, the, the token has seen some price increase um, ever since then. But they are listed on Coinbase custody. So, you know, there's normally an order that goes with this. They go on Coinbase custody and then they go on Coinbase Pro. And then after that, they get on Coinbase. And we know what happens when a token gets on Coinbase. So there's a very high chance that this can get onto Coinbase. And right now, if you was buying into Anchor, you'd actually be early. All right, so that is quite bullish, in my opinion. Of course, it is in price discovery now. So pro, uh, sky, sky is the limit. Um, you know, this could, I mean, people are talking about $1 for this um, obviously i'm not a person that makes price predictions but a few videos that i have watched even just tonight in in itself are talking about one dollar we can see the uh the the volume is picking up as well uh of course this is on a one day time frame if we go to the three day you'll see that this actually looks super bullish as well and you can see that increase of increase in volume and this accumulation period over here so for me, uh, definitely a little bit more bullish on Anchor, especially than what I was this afternoon, although I was bullish this afternoon, but I've got quite um, quite a nice bag of Anchor um, as it stands at the moment, and I'm hoping to get some crazy gains on this. Of course, I wouldn't want to put a price prediction uh, uh, personally, but if we do draw a Fibonacci uh, on this, um and, and look at a potential short term for this uh, like i said this is not a price prediction but if i bring the seven the, the seven eight six level up to there like that and let's bring that over here you uh might be go a little bit higher actually 
I'd say roughly around that, right? So that, that could be, be a good marker for a potential uh, price target um, around this level here, around just under the four cent mark um, in the short term. But like I said, other people are talking about a dollar and stuff like that. Um, it has begun moving already, so you won't be getting in at the bottom. You might want to wait for a pullback, um, but I want if I was looking for a better entry, of course, what you do is you lower the time frames. But I've already made my entry and I got in on this breakout over here originally. Then I got out and I got back in, uh, like I said, on the on uh, on this morning's uh, this afternoon's video. So, yeah, it's definitely um, definitely one to consider a and car a and K R. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's. 100% on my radar now okay and just quickly moving on to tezos i said in the the previous video that i did this afternoon that i was going to talk about tezos and somehow i forgot to cover it before the end of the video so if you were wondering what was going on there do apologize for that but um i did get out of tezos too early I guess i got a little bit impatient and i thought there would have been a pullback once we reached the previous high i thought it would there would have at least been a rejection uh, before it took off but it doesn't look like that rejection has come of course what i was uh, what i was expecting was you know a kind of cup and a handle you know would have come up here got a rejection come back down for another buying a dip opportunity over here but it didn't actually do that it blasted straight through to my shame missed out on some nice profits over there but, uh, you know, that's life, I guess. Right now, I won't be buying that candle personally. But yeah, Tezos definitely has some long-term price potential. And of course, it's been compared. Well, not compared, but the price chart movement is um, normally put in comparison to Chainlink by some YouTubers. Uh, for me, this is, well, it, it is still bullish. It's still bullish. And uh, who knows how far Tezos can go. It has been lagging in terms of price action, um, you know, which is why I looked at it because, you know, in a market where everything's taken off, it's kind of good to look at something and, and, and see that it hasn't taken off yet and kind of take your position on that rather than something that's already hit the moon. But yeah, I mean, what will happen here after this now? Um, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't know, to be honest. But um, yeah, probably uh, some room for a little bit more of a pullback on Tezos. Uh, at least if we come back down to test these levels at the at the previous high mark and then get a bounce and then continue to move up again. But of course, uh, that's not a price prediction. That is just uh, you know a probability. Okay, so yeah, keep your eyes on Chainlink. Uh, I definitely will be watching to see what happens next. All right, but like I said. Always good to get into something that hasn't really taken off yet. And for me, Anchor hasn't really taken off yet. A lot like we are on a one day. We don't see any massive candle like that to the ups uh, to the upside. If I do see a massive, I don't know what's going on with my throat right now, but I could really do with a drink. I think that will be my next move once we get over this video. But if I do see a large candle and a large candle price action to the upside i probably will be looking to kind of get out or scale out and then wait for a dip and then jump back in uh, only because i've got quite a large bag uh, riding on this at the moment but right now um it's not time for me to even think about getting out of my position and i am sitting in a profit so you know i'm okay to hold this and definitely looking forward to see whether this can make its way up further over this weekend but you know with people talking about price predictions of a dollar when it's only two cents i mean maybe i am in a good uh, a good time you know and if it does get on coinbase maybe we could see that dollar that people are talking about you know it sounds high but uh it's definitely possible this is crypto let's not forget that uh, i do want to remind you um i was banned from youtube for a week recently so i definitely need your help with boosting that algorithm back up because it has impacted me heavily so do me a favor and smash the like button that definitely helps and it's absolutely free uh, also the subscribe button is free it doesn't cost you anything to click those buttons and help me out okay and also leave a comment in the comment section that also helps with the algorithm and i will be on standby to answer any questions that you might have and engage with you uh, as the community and do my best to do that all right guys so yeah i'll see you in the next video uh, stay tuned